Hi folks, Tyler Capozzi here with a tutorial on how to stitch together a panorama photo in Adobe Photoshop. So I'm currently working with four photos that I took on the DJI Inspire one with my dad over the weekend. We've got one, two, three, four photos. We took these at the George B. Stevenson Reservoir. This is in Austin, Pennsylvania. Real nice place. And we just so happened to catch it at magic hour. As you can see, we got some real nice clouds going on, real soft light. And we wanted to test what the panorama would look like from the sky. So let's go into Photoshop and see how to stitch these together. Go ahead and click on File, and then click on Automate, and then click on Photo Merge. From here, we'll navigate to our files leave layout set to auto and click on browse so here is the finder window with the shots starting at number 17 you can just drag that straight in now i'm going to go ahead and use the dng raw file as opposed to the jpeg just because it contains more information so hold down command and click on each file for your panorama and click on open there they are and we're going to leave blend images together checked and then click on OK. Now depending on your file sizes and the number of photos you're using, this could take a while. And there you have it, real nice panorama stitched together in Photoshop. A couple issues right off the bat, number one are these lines that appear, um, very small white pixels. That's where the image got cropped together and um, was blended, but the reality is those will not show up whenever you go to save the file so fear not they're just temporarily there and even if you zoom in they will disappear so don't worry about these lines that's just showing you where it got stitched together now we've got some obvious um, crop that we're going to need to do so you can either click on the crop tool or hit C on the keyboard which is the keyboard shortcut for crop we want to get as much real estate out of this photo as possible so let's keep it nice and tight to the edge of course we don't want any of that white background showing up so as tight as we can get without getting any background that looks good then hit enter and there's our panorama um, you can hit F on the keyboard and then F again that will give you a nice full screen view you can zoom in by clicking command plus on the keyboard and there you have it real nice panorama stitched together so to save this we can hit f again to get out of there click on file and save as i'll go ahead and save it under the same folder and i'll go ahead and call this epic panorama For me, if I'm just uploading it to the web, I'll just use JPEG, but if you want super crazy high resolution, go with a TIFF. Um, PNG is good as well, but for me, I'm just going to run a JPEG, click on Save, and then I always leave Quality set to Maximum, which is 12, and the slider drug the whole way to Large File. Then click on OK. That will save it. Here's the epic panorama. And there you have it. That is how to stitch together a panorama in Adobe Photoshop.